Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And I'm excited today because I'm going to do something completely different, something I haven't ever done before. And I want to do it with my fluid art paints. Um, I have got this little uh, six inch square canvas um, and I've also got this little easel that came with another canvas. And I thought for a while that when it comes to birthdays, it'd be quite nice to give an alternative to a card. Maybe if they wanted, they could keep it. Um, so I just really thought I'd like to do that today, make something which is an alternative to a birthday card. Um, I want to do my background with these really nice pastel colours with little balloon dips like I've done with this one here with the background, just nice soft little details and then the really exciting and um, slightly scary thing is I thought I'd quite like to try to do a fluid art rabbit. So I've never done an animal before and I certainly haven't tried to draw an animal with the fluid paints so I thought I'm gonna have a go at it and we'll see what it turns out like. So I've got some Amsterdam grey um, and I've got some uh, light grey um, and I've got some copper. I've got golds and silvers so a lot of metallic colours in there and uh, I thought we'll just really see how it goes. I'm going to use my palette knife and my mixed tray of paints and try and draw a rabbit and make the fur and uh, we'll see how that all goes. So I will get started and I'll put it on to hyperlapse because I think it will take me quite some time to do. Okay, let's see how it goes.
So here is this painting. I did quite a lot more fiddling after I turned the camera off. I wasn't happy with the feet and I also wanted it to be a little bit further down the canvas so I changed those feet um, and then just kept adding paint with my palette knife from my very mixed tray that I've got here <laughs> um, and it's got lovely metallic colours in there and you can see those little balloon dips around the edge are starting to dry nicely so hopefully you can see it's a little rabbit with little paws over its nose and some big feet so we'll see what that's like when it's dry so bye for now so here is this rabbit i haven't done anything else to it since you saw it when it was wet and i'll go close up and uh, i love his little ears i think they're really sweet i love all those spiky little bits of fluff and you can see those balloon dips there with the pastel colours in the background, which I think are quite sweet. And his little face. I struggled with his eyes quite a lot, but I think they are okay now. And I just really think that the fluid art works quite well with his fur. And I love the little paws. I think they are so sweet and again that was just done by getting the palette knife adding the colour and then just swishing the palette knife through the paint and I think they just look just like little fluffy paws and the colours um, the metallics aren't showing up quite so much a little bit I did put quite a lot of grey in there, which isn't metallic, it was just Payne's grey. And then his little feet. I tried to make them look so that they weren't like fake rabbit paws, I guess. I wanted them to be fluffy, with a little fluff between the toes. And then it's got pearl white um, on the little white bits, but I guess that doesn't show up quite so much. And then he has got a white little fluffy tail. <laughs> um, and some more fur. So I've really enjoyed doing this little bunny. And I think for a first attempt, that's not too bad. And uh, maybe I will try something else next time. And maybe I will try um, more different metallic colours I think it perhaps needs a bit more but definitely my favourite bit is those lovely little paws over his nose <laughs> so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time bye bye